Okay, uh, then he will charge Yogi. Oh, brutal. One more there for you, Corey. Actually, this one's not going to provoke because he will just attack you. I guess he still has to provoke because he's got to get out of that square. So he will just charge Barda. Thirty four, is that hit on Barda? Yep. Thirty three points of damage, and you can roll your fortitude save. Roll well, what type save? Fortitude. Oof. Ugh, that's brutal. You keeping that safe? No, I'm going to reroll that. Much better. So you take three points of con damage. Uh, this one will move to the south. Again, provoking Corey. Ignore this roll. I'm just doing math in my head. Okay, thank you. Okay, that helps me. So. Plus 32. Okay. Let's make it minimal. Twenty five a touch on you, Corey. Uh yeah, I guess it would be. But I can parry it. Okay. And I parry it. Excellent parry. And then he'll provoke from you as well. I am not attacking. Excellent. I assume it's a touch attack. Yep. Well, it's a, it's a, uh, gore attack. But uh, oh shit. They also, they get Claw Claw Bite. I've been screwing this up the whole time. Claw Claw Gore. Uh, 
Oh well, I'll leave it for now. Uh, I got a couple more coming through, so not a problem. I think they're out of room. <laughs> they're, they're running out of places they go. <laughs> no, I have been very selectively moving them into the room for just that reason. Where's the firestorm? We need a firestorm in here. Actually, there's a lot of things that are needed in here. All right, who's got the holy hand grenade? Holy word would just absolutely destroy this entire room. That would be pretty nasty. All the holy word's only like 30 or 40 feet. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Like, Jesus, you put that here, you're like, dead. Yep. Okay, I assume you're also not attacking the last one? Nope. Ooh, there's grit. 34 and a 36. Are they both hits on you? Well, it depends. Is he going to gore me after this? What do you mean, is he going to gore you? The, the bite is the gore. Oh, okay. Well, they're all touch attacks because he's using his hands. Oh. Claw one, claw two, and I using the bite as the gore. So when he's touching me, he's not he's just touching me, he's not actually trying to attack me? No, he's trying to attack you, but when he claws at you, he can hit you physically without doing any damage with things like armor and whatnot. But if he touches you physically, then he gets to do energy drain on you. So it's right. both a touch attack and an, uh, a melee attack. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm not following. It's like monks do that too, so I don't, I don't get why it would be both. Because their touch does something. A, monk, a monk's touch doesn't do anything. If you shake a vampire's hand, he can energy drain you. Right, but when Yogi punches things, he attack not Yogi, um, what's his name? Odo. Jo jo Odo attacks things. He doesn't make all of his attacks as touch attacks. He attacks as normal, as like a melee attack. And if he then hits, he gets his touch. Yeah, but it's still a touch attack if he hits. Just nine times out of ten, it's not a touch attack if he doesn't hit. In your case, your touch attack and your uh, actual armor class are vastly different. No, I know. That's I just yeah. I whatever. I'll just parry him. I'll parry the gore attack because that's the one that has the. Or do all of them have Condrain? Any touch from him is Condrain. Well, then I guess I'll stop the critical. Okay. So 34 not a hit? 34 is a hit. You're just taking the bite? Uh, it doesn't matter, right? One's either a critical or the other one's just a normal hit, so I'll just parry the critical. Oh, you can't parry both of them? No, I'm out of parries. Oh, okay. That's why, that's why I was confused. Okay, then you can roll your fortitude save. None of those are hits. Uh, 
And the last one enters the fight. Wow, what a load of crap. Okay, uh, I assume none of those are touch, touch, touch hits? No. Uh, well, the 26 is, yeah. Oh, so there's two more touches in there? So you can roll your fortitude on those. How many were left when we came back here after killing the ones the last time? Uh, I think you killed three or four of them. I think there were 16. They're all numbered. Um, so you can just look at the numbers on each token. Uh, there's two in the wall at the moment. I don't know what the deal is with those. I think those are two you just killed. Uh, I know we, the last two we fought, we actually, you know, took our time and decapitated them. Yeah, I deleted their tokens from the board. The ones that are on the board are ones that have not been decapitated. All right, so I know we killed one already. Yeah, um, Kenny killed one in this round. That was his action. And, and Barda uh, killed one. And Barda, okay, that's... And then there's two off screen. The one that Barda killed was the initiative token. So he's gone for an hour. And there's another one down on the other side here. I don't know where it's from. Minotaur 3, it looks like. Do you do you do it that you don't lose your con until you lose you lose two points? Um, you lose the point of con if that affects your hit points. It affects your hit points. Okay. Some people do it that you when you take one point you don't lose your con your additional con hit points until you've lost two total because it's a huge gouge to just lose one. Yeah, I guess if you lose one point of con and go from a 16 to a 15, you lose one hit point per level. But then when you lose the second one, you don't suffer a penalty. So the other two are both saved. So three and one, Corey. Yeah, Minotaur 3 is over here in the wall. I don't know where. He's got no damage listed on him at all. I assume you just smoked him outright. So I just lost five points of con? Yes. And then we are on to the sorcerer. She will step out and cast Who wants to cast there, huh? That's interesting. Yeah, I'm deciding what I want to cast is more the bigger issue. If I'm just going to target you, I don't really need to get that close. And I think that might be what I'll want to do. Yeah, she'll just stay back and use a, a sound lance on you. Oh, resistance. Plus 22 on their... What the fuck? We were just discussing all the ways there are to overcome spell resistance before the session. So they're casting, like, swift action spells before they roll in here? Yeah, they spent several rounds prepping for this. That's why I was roll I rolled initiative and went through it in turn, is because I was not documenting everything I was doing on my side. 
ended up being futile for the boss since uh, you didn't have any trouble blowing through all his abilities. Well, I'm happy they changed their entire spell lineup for me. I am winning. Well, they didn't change their entire spell lineup for you, but um, it's also for Yogi, who also is immune to cold and a bunch of other stuff, so having a ton of sonic spells is nice. All right, I'll be immune to sonic next time. Yep, you do that. Next time you can be immune to sonic. So 50 points, save for half. I think the only other thing she can do. Oh no, she gets a a move and a swift, so she can magic missile you. Spell resistance. Alright. So how's her spell for the one spell she get last two spells? How does... True casting lasts for one spell. I'm confused. Uh, she has plus 22, save, right? Yeah, a save spell resistance gives you a plus 10. Actually, it should only be 21. That's. Oh no, it's evocation, so she gets an extra one on that, extra couple on that. Um, but she gets plus 10 for a say spell resistance. From true casting, right? No, from a say spell resistance. It is a from spell. what? A say spell resistance. It's basically stay true spell. spell resistance? Yeah, but it affects one target. The fuck is say spell resistance? I say. Was the spell that Joe and I were talking about at the beginning of the session. And he said, that's like true cast. And I was like, yeah, but true cast is only once. A say spell resistance is one target. She must, must be able to see me when she casts it. Yeah, it's a swift action. She saw you. Fucker. What a turd. So wait, she moved, cast, swift action, and a standard action. She has too many actions. No, because she can take a five-foot step as a free action. She doesn't make any other movement, which what she doesn't even have her. to do technically. And then she gets her three actions. Roll your force damage. So 17 points from that. And I think that is everyone. So the greater haste people can go again. Uh, do you guys burn delay? First. I'll call out. Sorry, what was that? I was just going to call out if you guys mind delaying till my turn. Well, it's just Corey and Barda, and Corey, I don't think, got hit with the. Um, yeah, I'll delay. Haste. All right. Um, I will. Um, this this red aura is their attack range, or what yeah, is it again? Just their reach. It's their attack range. So you're technically right. standing in a threatened square at the moment. I will five foot step out, um, pull out a scroll. Uh, I'm gonna have to change my aura for this. I'll change it to charisma. Um, Uh, I'm gonna use Sunburst. Okay, what's that do? And I'll put it like here. In an 80 foot radius. And it should be like here. I mean, it'll hit everyone. Yeah, it's like the only place I can really target. Um, here's you my that affects everybody in the party. Yeah. That'll kill Kronos. Uh, well. He has 18 hit points. 
It'll knock him down. It won't Go ahead. Do it. And Kronos has spell resistance, so he might be able to resist it. Yeah, I'll use my luck to make that. I think I need a 35, right? You need a 35, yeah. Yeah, I'll use my luck to make that 35. Okay. Um. So yeah, they take. Um, is the undead dam damage doubled or no? Why would it be doubled? That's what it says. Yeah, it does say undead that creature undead. caught within the globe takes one d six of points per caster level more, maximum twenty five d six. But then they also take double damage if they're vulnerable to sunlight. Yeah. Double Does double that... damage. Okay, so like it would double, be. Double damage. It'd be 66 plus uh, 15 d6. So they I'll do the, I'll do the. They don't take the damage. They don't multiple it's, times. It's, it's An not, undead creature caught in the yeah. area takes d6 per. Oh, so that's yeah. That's separate. Yeah, but a creature which is harm is harmed by sunlight also takes double damage. Yeah. So it's 15 so d6 double. Is it? Yeah. Okay. How are we getting to? To 15d6? Okay, so an undead creature takes 1d6 points of damage per cast level. The cast level is 15, right? Okay. Why is the cast so, level 15? Because it's a scroll. It's a and it's level... Level, caster level. Yeah, oh, level okay. That's why. 8 scroll. So 15d6, and then a creature which is harmed by sunlight, which I believe vampires are, uh, take yep. double damage. So 15d6 times 2. The spell just so happens to target vampires particularly well. Is that how it would work? Or... Uh, anyway, I rolled yeah, the. Sounds like how it works. That's for um everyone. So, uh, everyone gets a save. Um, what's your DC? Uh, what is it again? Is it ten plus half? It's ten plus uh, half your caster level. In this case, would be uh fifteen. Six. So that would oh, be plus seven, and uh, then 17. your charisma modifier. Or whatever modifier you would use for the spell. What what uh, spell is it? Um, sunburst. Evocation. What what? No, he's uh, asking which version of uh, the spell yeah. you bought. Uh, I guess. Oh, I don't it's know. Either I wisdom guess... or intelligence. Oh, I would have bought the wisdom version then. Okay. Um, so that'd be 10 plus 7 plus uh, 5. So 23. Oh, 22. Okay. Uh, roll spell resistance. <laughs> what am I rolling for that? Well, fortunately, you're casting at 15th level, so uh, d20 plus 15. Yep. Come on, 1. Well. Both Violet and myself make the save. Oh, you make it's it. Will or no fortitude? Reflex. I hope you make this save. All right. Hey, oh, makes it. oh, dude, you would have been fucked had you not made that save. All right, so they take fifteen, and then they take another. Okay, so hold on, Critter. So here's how this spell works. You need to roll 30d6. There is no 66 plus 30d6. Thank you for explaining that for the fourth time. Okay. Um, yeah, so but the first one, they take double anyway, right? And then I roll another 30d6. No, 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 no. So the first two sentences are overcome by the, uh, by the next two paragraphs. So ignore the 66. It's just 15, D it's 15 D6 doubled, so it's 30 D6. And that's it. That's all your roll. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay, well, I will roll one save for the whole bunch, because I don't want to fucking go through one at a time. Um, their reflex save, it's actually not that great. It's only plus six. What's the DC? 23. 20, 22. They will not make that save. They all so, are dead. They are destroyed, correct? Yep. So they're gone, gone for good, right?
I'm not sure how vampire stuff works. I just know they're dead. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're killed by... Oh, shit. Apparently there's one on here that I didn't bring through. I, I was just wondering you know, like, if it's a special thing, like the burst results in the destruction of any undead creature. Oh, is that what it says? Yeah, if, if it fails to save. Oh, fuck. If, <laughs> yeah, the burst results in the destruction of any undead creature specifically harmed by bright yep, light if that, it fails to they're save. All, they're all dead. They're all dead. Well, they were already dead from the 97 point. No, 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 they're, they're dead, 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 dead. They're, they're well, annihilated they're, dead. You do, you do uh, sun damage to a vampire, it kills it. Oh, okay. That's one of the ways to kill a vampire, is to do sun damage to it. Whew! Belt to battle? Belt to battle? Ah, uh, he's not done yet, yeah. damage there, Kronos. Yeah, uh... Take seven. Seven. Well, that makes Oops. my plan completely moot and unnecessary. I'm at seven points. There we go. Sorry, Yo, my, you have the, the idea that you came up with is kind of pointless now. What was the idea you came up with? Undeath to death. Yeah. Uh, help! help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then I um, and then the two people down here also. Are they down three, here? Or? Three people. Three, yeah, people down here. It's an 80 foot. I put it here and it's 80 feet burst. Okay. So. Um, so the master shouldn't have any trouble making this save. Unless he rolls a one. Hey, that'd be so awesome. It'd be one heck of a way to completely nuke this encounter. He has no trouble doing it. Okay, he takes half then. He probably has evasion. Yeah, he's a monk. He takes nothing. Yeah, he, he don't give a fuck. Okay. That sorcerer might be dead, though. Sorcerer's human. Oh. Fair enough. She just has to roll a save. Uh, Yeah, against the 66, which was that 15 points. Uh huh. Ah, oh, so close. All right, once right, well, she takes seven as well. Um, and then is that it? Uh, there's a shaman back here. I don't know what he is. He is uh, undead. He is a vampire, so he has to save, or he's going to be roasted because he doesn't have enough hit points to survive that. I just have to find that character sheet. So he oh, oh. fails to save, and I don't think he has anything that'll bump that up. No, he doesn't have anything that'll fix that, so he is annihilated. Okay, uh, who's up next? I uh, I still want to take some more of my turn. Um, it says I had to use a move action and a standard action, right, to do that to pull out a scroll and then cast it, right? Uh huh. No, it's just a standard action. You use a oh. scroll. There you go. Okay. Um. Then I will. Um, I'll sing for plus twelve, plus twelve on Kronos. Okay. Then it was Double. Barda's turn. I'm going to say he didn't want to go. Turn. Oh, he doesn't have greater haste. Oh, yeah, haste. he's not in this turn. Okay, Barda, you're up. Well, I guess I can just move because you got rid of everybody. That's as close as I can get, and I can't cast on this round. Yep. You can't cast during this, can you? You're great at haste, so you have double move speed. Oh, so I can actually get all the way up here. But I, I can't actually cast hit this round. Yeah. Is that what you were going to do, cast? Well, I, was, I wanted to get to heal Kronos. Yeah, that was what my plan was for the next round, was to heal him. Oh. I mean, to be honest, just, just hit him. Just hit the, the big spooky. <laughs> the big spooky. <laughs> I'm going to step in front of Kronos, though. 
What's the range on Knight's move? Uh, 30 feet right now. Wait. No, no wait, five plus five for every two levels. Mm, oh, you're right. It's 25 plus. No, it's not. It's five feet per two levels. It's an insane oh, yeah. distance. It's dyslexic. Yeah, so I think I'm only at 24 right now. You're only at 24 what? I think I only get 24 movement on um, Knight's move right now. 24 feet. No, you get 5 no. feet per 2 levels. So Yes, yeah, my bad. I, I was doing that feet. as 2 feet per level. That was dumb. Oh, 30 yeah. feet, friendo. I think 30 feet. Okay, well, when you land there, you take uh, Ring of Blades damage. Oh, I didn't. Is that what that aura is? Why'd you guys tell me to go hit him? I wouldn't have stepped into that. What else are you going to do? Well, well now I'm going to take damage and can't heal. On the don't next don't worry about me, dude. Next round. Just kill that motherfucker. <laughs> you could have walked up and cast prayer. You can't cast spells in these rounds. What? 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 Why not? I thought I've thought this whole time that the extra round you get from Greater Haste, you couldn't cast spells. spells. I no, that it's a whole extra round, like your full round. Oh, well, then you got the double movement, and I can get to here. I would heal him instead of instead of uh, attack going up to attack. Whatever, do whatever you're gonna do. Yolo swagger. Uh, lesser heal on you, so you get 150 back. I love you. That doesn't overheal me, right? Yeah, everything overheals you. Oh. So I'll just do the math. You're over by 25. Yeah, but I get like half of that. So 25 divided by 2 is 12. Thank you. Not looking so hot now, Rocka Rocka Boo. You say that out loud so you can hear you say that? I did say that. Okay, so Yam's gone, we're on to Yogi. Alright, I was going to enlarge my weapon to large and cast Disrupting Weapon. Okay. And you're up, Kronos. I attack him! Oh, shit. Um, I totally forgot. He could have attempted to parry on the last attack. Two. Three. Do I get an extra attack with greater haste? I don't believe I no, do. You get a no. second action. Yeah, that's what I thought. So, just three attacks then. Okay, I don't think he can parry any of those. Those are all super, super high. Well, 47 plus... Definitely not with shitty rolls. Plus 43 minus 30. Perfect. Nice, sexy 105 damage on four hit points. That's what I like to see. We will, uh, you know what? Ah, no, I'm, 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 I'm going to go. I'm not going to get in people's way. I'm just five foot so off to the side. That's it. Okay, then it's the sorcerer's turn. She's got greater haste? Yeah, yep. she does. 
So uh, she will cast Cone of Cold up through the center. Poor Violet doesn't get Kona Gold. Oh, well, I guess it's only Corey and Berta. Corey's just getting shellacked. Is it a Fortitude save? Yeah. Okay, I'll use my natural 20 on the roll. Said fortitude, right? Yep. We take half of that if we save. Yes. Roll your save, Berta. One second, I'm looking at something. Okay, yeah, I don't think I have anything. Save for half? And I don't know, what, what is her... What do I need to hit for her? Uh, 23, so that's a save. Did we come in with any resistances? Fire, I believe. Yeah. Okay, uh, then she will ding Kronos with a pair of magic missiles. Spell resistance. Oh, we tried. Wow, those are some awesome rolls. So you take 14 and 16 from the magic missiles. Who's that aimed at? I have Kronos. Okay. Yeah, they don't like me. Yeah, well, you're right. Well, you did just about kill everything Rock. they can to kill you. Look, I'm okay with them trying to kill me. Um, I forgot that Violet is actually hasted, so I'm just going to heal her. Just going to use uh, Lay on Hand. Okay. And then we're back to initiative. Ooh, do I have time for one more round? Uh, I'm not going to cheese it. I'm not going to fucking do a bunch of damage and then roll out. That's kind of lame. Well, I wish you all luck in killing this ass clown. Hopefully you can aim for his head and chop it off, Barda. Um, you don't have plus, you don't have initiative buffs, by the way. We don't have initiative buffs? No, I had to change it to cast that scroll. Well, that's unfortunate. I didn't think it mattered, but... Well, I'm guessing it does for Corey's 45 initiative. Yeah, 22 is a lot lower. Still going to beat him. Who's going to beat him? Uh, Corey still wouldn't have beat the monk age. No, but Kronos would have. I didn't roll. Kronos hasn't rolled yet. Um, I'm heading out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, What's you guys like? Time? Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna like roll initiative, like try to kill the boss, and then be like, oh, put me in a wall. That seems kind of lame. Yogi, did you go again? 
Yogi did not go again, I don't Did think, you get did. your second, second round as he cast yeah. two spells? Oh, he's, oh, he's okay. busy buffing. Oh. He's busy buffing for a round two electric boogaloo. <laughs> well, good luck. See you guys. See you, See you later. See ya. There's no way I'd be able to hit a target and attack again. No. I don't even think... I, I His AC might even be high enough that I don't think I can hit a regular attack. Hit plus six. Yeah, you're plus six for birding. And any other okay. buffs you've cast, like strength. Or divine might or whatever. I don't have divine might currently. Spells to actually prepare. I mean, you have plus eight at the moment to hit. I wasn't expecting us to be in combat this quickly. I thought we would have a little bit more time to prep, but we went straight into the boss fight. Oh, he's gone. He is, in fact, gone. So, then we're on to Yogi. She is invisible for the record. Oh, okay. Yogi's got blind sense. Does she have blur or anything? Um, well, she gets 50% mischance for her um, visibility. Even against blind, blind sight? You have blind sight or blind sense? Uh, God, I always get it mixed up. I'm pretty sure it's blind sense. Blind sense means you just know where she is. It doesn't tell you you can't actually see her. Blind sight. I have blind sight. Blind sight? Okay, then you're not affected by it. And I think the only thing that comes into play is the 10 points for her stone skin. Plus four weapon. Still 10 points for stone skin. Alright, she still took a crap load of damage. That is true. Okay, Barda, what are you doing? I saw him walk up and smack the air there and seem to have hit something, so I will shift five foot and swing on the same spot and take my missed chance. Okay. Is it six to hit and six to damage? Yes. Uh, yeah, and then plus two. Yeah, you get plus two in addition to that for your haste. Plus your strength bonus. Where's her stone skin so I can mark it? Right beside you, around the corner. You also only take ten points from stone skin because you have a plus two weapon, right? I'm pretty sure mine's a plus four. Weapon, oh yeah, though. you have a plus four weapon now. Doesn't change anything. It's still the same outcome. You just don't have the damage reduction if you have a high enough value weapon. And then I believe I still get another attack because I. Oh wait, I still have to roll a fifty-fifty shot to miss, right? Yep. You get three attacks. Roll your three misses. High or low. I'm going to roll above 50%. Cool. Nice. So okay, first well, one first one hits, one. so you can roll your second one.
Oh, that sucks. That can, does, in it, fact, suck. Can I luck that up above the the missing? Yep. So I'll, Yeah, I'll luck that up to a four so that it's not a miss. Okay. You, you wouldn't have had to if we had prayer on. He rolled a one. Oh, yeah. Prayer would have given him a plus three bonus. It okay. says it's only a plus one. So then we're on to Corey. John changed it. If you look in his yeah, spell you got, doc. You got to look at his spell, spell doc. I move up to here and close this door. Is there a way to lock it? Ah, yep. Uh, no, there isn't a way to lock it, apparently. You could probably uh, come up with a way of doing it if you did it from the other side. No, I'm not doing that. But anyways, I close it. Okay. I'll five foot to there, and Violet will heal me. Okay. And then the sorcerer will flee in terror. The sorcerer is alive? Oh, no, she got oh, smoked. My bad, I forgot to mark her as dead. No, no, that, that's fine. I, I'm not worried about it. I, I had, I was already deciding what she was going to do, and I thought you had missed. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, she will rise as a vampire and then become gaseous. Do we get a tax opportunity for her as she casts a spell to become gaseous? No, it's her standard action to turn gaseous. Okay. I thought they could only move 20 feet. Yeah. And? Okay. Do we want to chase her? How does she rise as a vampire? I thought that they had to die from being a drink from. Unless it's, or it's been a while since I looked into how they do vampires. And Followers of Orcus, when they are slain, they rise as undead. That is why the shaman was a vampire. That's also why the uh, barbarian in the hallway last time was a vampire. Yeah, it's an annoying god to follow. It's an awesome god to follow. It's an annoying game to annoying god to uh, fight. Okay, um, then we're on to Yam. Uh, we'll just move around here. Do we want to try a follow? Because I have the um, the wind walk. We have the wind walk ready. Oh, you guys didn't cast the wind walk yet? Nope. I just want to note, Tansen is here. What do you mean by here? He's the one that just cut the channel. Oh, okay. As exists. It's a ruse. Yeah, I gave up on him months ago. Uh, well, I guess that... Okay, so just let's say heal myself twice. The boss is still running around, just for the record. Yeah. So let's not chase after the, the sorceress who's going to be out of combat for the next hour. Let's worry about the, the boss.
Okay. Um, so if Yam's done, then we're back to Yogi. Cast two cure miners on myself. Okay. Do anything else? No, that's it. You realize that's only two actions. I know. Okay, just checking. Barda? Uh, so did he just vent, like teleport away, or did he did he run off? Um, you can roll a spellcraft check. Well, you know he didn't just run off because you would have seen him physically move away if he had run. He used his uh, monk ability to Dimension Door. It's an abundant step. Okay, uh, what do I know about that? Like, does it have a specific range? Can you go through walls and stuff like that? Yeah, it's basically a low-level teleport. I think it's, like, 400 feet. To be the most honest cheating DM, half the time I don't even look it up. I just assume that he can do the thing that I want him to do in the range that I want him to do it. Dimension door is 400 feet plus 40 feet per level, so um, at least 800 feet. Um, you can't take any other actions until your next turn. I think he's been teleporting around and attacking too, hasn't he? Um, two things. I got rid of that because I thought that was a stupid second edition holdover. Um, and, uh, he did it at the end of his turn. Wait, so Dimension Door doesn't have that? No, that's, that's a stupid holdover from first or second edition to stop you from casting Dimension Door on a rogue and having him Dimension Door beside someone and immediately be able to sneak attack. Uh, okay. It was just one of those things in early D&D, &D, everybody who played tried to come up with some way to game the system, and that was one of them where you could kill anyone on the planet if you just got close enough to Dimension Door a Rogue next to them. Whereas now they have fancy things like Perception, so you have a chance to notice the Rogues there and then you aren't flat-footed. still a thing in Pathfinder too though yeah it's still a thing in 3.5 I just think it's a stupid thing that's why I took it out okay you can teleport and take an action immediately after why can't you dimension door primary reason is because by the time the game gets to the ability to teleport most uh, players aren't concerned about being able to assassinate someone they just go and do whatever they want at that point. Somebody needs to remind needs to remind me that when I level, I need to take Touch of Restoration for uh, for uh, Violet. Why is that? The second level spell. The it's second. a Paladin spell that allows you for a minute to, whenever you lay on hands, cure uh, one point per caster level of ability damage. Oh, interesting. That's funny because I have a Touch of Restoration spell that's a zero level spell. I know. I went to look it up and this came up and I was like, oh, excuse me? Hello. I need this right now. You're going to make me rename my spell. Minor Restoration. Yeah, it could be that.
Okay. Um, Barter, are you done? Yep, I just stepped out into the hallway. Can you send me the link to that, Kenny? I can't find it. It says it's out of the uh, Complete Champion. You're thinking of Touch of Healing? It, no, it says Touch of Restoration. I'll just send me the link to it. I can't find it. I googled it. I did. I sent it to you. Oh, wow. Okay. For some reason, that did not come up in D&D uh, &D tools on uh, a, Google, a normal Google search. Well, I'll have to rename my spell. I didn't realize there's already a Touch of Restoration spell. And I came up with that years ago. Okay. Uh, sorry, Bart, are you done? Yeah, I just stepped out into the hallway. I'm trying to figure out what way the master might have gone. Okay. Uh, then we are on to Corey.